Hello, in this emulation video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Xenia, Xenia, X-E-N-I-A emulator, which is an Xbox 360 emulator on your Windows machine. So to do it, it's actually really simple. It's, it's probably one of the easiest emulators to set up, but as a result, it is very limited as well in terms of what you can customize. So you, you do get that trade off with the ones that are more, the more customizable. They're usually a bit harder and longer to set up. So what you want to do is go over to, you want to go over to, just type in Xenia and Google Canary. Right now, as of now, the Canary build has the best performance. You can just go to regular Xenia and you'll grab the latest version from here as well. And I'll do a video on like Linux as well, so feel free to check that out. So like if I was to go to you know the latest release, and this is the master release right here. And in Canary, we've got this one right here. And honestly, it doesn't really matter which one we do. So I'll just do Canary. I recommend Canary for now because it does have, you know, probably the best performance around. And I'll create further videos as you know, new versions come out. As you can see, I've already got it. Another thing I want to say, this video does not condone... Ooh, so I'm going to do some monitor. This video does not condone piracy. I own the game that I'm going to be testing. I own an, an original Xbox 360 or it's a 360 Elite, I should say. And yeah, so always, you know, recommend that you own, own it for legal purposes. So I'll just, you know, delete that folder that I extracted. Right click it. I've already, you know, got it, but I'll, I'll just do the one that I've just downloaded. Go to Extract All, Extract. You can use WinRAR 7-Zip if you have a preferred tool. I'm just using the built-in one, so it's the most compatible. Go to this folder, go to the exe, and if you get that, go to more info, run anyway. And now in here, there's not much customization to be fair. Post processing, feel free to enable like the anti aliasing and resampling sharpening, but I recommend only doing that once you know the game's working pretty well, as is otherwise, no point doing it. Also, what I'll do is I'll provide the link to in the description to the compatibility list. So you can go to the compatibility list, type in a game. I'm doing Halo 3, for example, and then you find it. Uh, that's Halo 3 Beta, but yeah, you, I mean, you should we should be able to find it here somewhere. Halo 3, Halo 3, there we go. So, yeah, there are slowdowns, but obviously, you want state playable ideally, and you can just see what game games are supported so if you try a game and it's not working you know go here have a look they'll tell you if there's you know problem you know what the current state is as well so definitely you know recommend that and you can even rip the game yourself feel free to you know just google uh, again not condoning policy but just google the name of your game like halo 3 plus xbox 360 iso for example and you can get it off the internet you know there's great websites like vim.net as well if you want more information just about everything to do with emulation and ROMs, feel free to join the Discord group. We got dedicated channels. So go to File, Open, and just go to where your game is. For me, it's right here. It's an ISO file. Double click. There we go. And in terms of controlling it, I'm going to be using an Xbox controller. I've already synced it up via Bluetooth because I've got a Xbox One controller that has bluetooth in there the project scorpio edition ones so that's what i'll be using and it just works out of the box you can go to full screen by going to display full screen press f11 to go off it or escape as well so the audio is a bit buggy in halo 3 that's just the way it is and as you can see it's working it's really simple there's not much more to it than that so if i just let this load and let's say if i go to f11 so it's full screen That music, the oh, oh my god, it's just. I'm gonna play Halo Infinite again on the weekend start here with my cousin. I played it on the Xbox Series X on my own, um, but let me skip this. But as they announced that they've, I mean, for at least for now, abandoned the co op version, so let's look up the local co op version I was gonna play via online co op. And because I played it on Xbox Series X, I'm gonna play on PC this time, so it's a different experience. Oh yeah.
<laughs> the, the major, the sergeant, whatever it is, with the cigar. Reminds me of the guy from the Alien, was it? I can't remember the actor and the character's name in there. Reminds me of that character. I think you know which one I'm referring to. So similar. Maybe it's based off him. But let's move around in a second. So yeah, frame rate's all right, but you will get slow down here and there, especially when you're going to sort of new areas and when you start shooting as well. Again, that's just the way it is with, you know, the emulator with certain games, but Canary is the most sort of got the best performance. And that's it. As you can see, it's that simple to set up the Xbox 360 emulator known as Xenia or if somebody knows how to pronounce it correctly, feel free to let me know in the comments. If we can get to an enemy before I end this video, I'd like to kill someone and then end the video. Oh, I hear him. Oh, got a badass weapon right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the deal wood. I think they removed that from Infinite as well. So that's it. So if you want to quit out of it, no save states or anything. If you want to quit out of it, press escape or F11. And then you can just press the X right there. And that's it. So that's how you set up a Xbox 360 emulator on your Windows machine. Or do it for different platforms as well. If you have any questions, feel free to you know post it in the comments down below. And all links will be in the description. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.